This is something I've been passionately doing for a few years, and uh, I'm going to give a quick intro to what I think is a critical barrier to electrification, and then these people are going to speak a lot more about the barriers and the solutions. Uh, so, first of all, there are a lot of benefits to electric vehicles. You know, they are much simpler, so they're much less maintenance, much cheaper to operate. The fuel, the electric motor is about three times more efficient than a gas engine, so you have big fuel savings. Of course, you're not consuming oil, so you don't, have, you don't contribute to potential oil wars. Uh, you're cutting air pollution, which we've seen cut, saves us hundreds of billions of dollars. Uh, of course, it's good for fighting global warming. But as I've stated before, I think the two biggest benefits to electric vehicles that will drive the EV revolution, that will see us have a transformation like we had with smartphones and tablets, are that they're super fun to drive and they're super convenient. When you step on the pedal of an electric car, you have instant torque. So it's like the experience for me with the silence of electric motor and the power is like it's being in a spaceship. And uh, it really, with the bzzz, it feels like it to me. And people for years after owning electric cars, they get an EV smile when they, when they drive. Uh, this is a picture from the Tesla Model S P85D. It's the quickest car, production car, in his production sedan in history. Uh, and the other electric cars are also a lot of fun. This the other big benefit is they're super convenient. You get home, you plug in, you're done. You don't have to go to gas stations. But there are, hu the, there are some huge barriers. This is a study from 2013, should be updated, but I haven't seen anything better since. And it showed that about 5% of surveyed Americans were very familiar with the Chevy Volt. And fewer than that were familiar, very familiar with the, less, the Nissan Leaf, the Tesla Model S. Uh, people don't know about these vehicles. Another piece of information from that study, uh, about 30% of people were very interested or extremely interested in a plug-in vehicle with a $28,000 price point. Such vehicles are on the market. If, we, if you count, in, count incentives, they're even cheaper. Uh, so people were expressing interest without realizing that these vehicles are on the market, I think. Uh, when they talked about their EV preference by brand, Toyota topped the list despite the fact that it might be the biggest laggard in electrification. It has uh, a, a very a, a Toy Toyota Prius plug-in that has a very small electric-only range, and it, the electric the gas engine kicks in when you accelerate fast, when you're on the highway, etc. So I think what people are doing they're associating electric cars with hybrids, conventional hybrids like the Toyota Prius, and they don't realize. The difference, and there are huge differences because conventional hybrids don't have those two huge benefits that electric cars have. So the biggest barrier uh, to electric, electric, the EV revolution, I think, is getting more people aware of these vehicles and experiencing them. The last chart from that study: fewer than 50% of the respondents thought EVs were exciting to drive and own. That's hilariously sad. That's really, you know, this is, this is the benefit. If you talk to EV owners why they have an EV or what they love about it, it's that they're exciting, that they're fun to drive and own, and they're much more convenient than going to the gas station every week. So the biggest barrier, I think, to the EV revolution is very simply awareness and experience of the, of the consumer. So hopefully uh, there are a lot of models um, to get beyond that barrier, and these people will be talking about several of them, and, uh, as well as other research.